Hey everyone, hope you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today we're gonna do our daily technical analysis update of oil and natural gas. Uh, looking pretty, pretty good for the for the companies. Companies money, we're getting some money flows in there, that's for sure. Uh, so let's dive in, I'll give you my financial opinion here. Uh, so this is crude oil, uh, we've been moving on higher. Uh, Non-logarithmic, logarithmic on a monthly candlestick basis. I'm gonna try to stay more big picture view because they look really good from a big picture view now just oil I'll, I'll, I'll zoom in there mainly moving sideways up a little bit today um i mean we could do something maybe like this you could do it like that if you want uh, but it looks good it's still holding up pretty well uh, natural gas almost at nine dollars we do have a little wick at the top we'll see if if the buyer or sellers come in and sell it off a little bit uh, but overall, it's been very strong. Uh, $9 a million cubic foot. It's pretty, ex you know, we're getting up there. We're getting up there. Uh, big picture view. And again, uh, this is on logarithmic. Big picture view, we've broken out to the upside on natural gas. And I think it looks absolutely excellent. Uh, we are continuing to move higher. Uh, again, we'll see where this goes, but this is a base to jump from. And it's been jumping from a pretty high level, so that looks good. XOP, yeah, you know me, downtrend line breaking. And I'm going to kind of just delete some of this garbage out there so you guys can see. Nice big bullish engulfing pattern, and usually those like to go this way. Uh, so this actually looks really good. And I own a bunch of my, I own XOP, a lot of it in my 401k. Uh, SM Energy, another one that looks really good. We're putting in this big bullish engulfing on a monthly candlestick pattern. That usually resolves itself uh, upward. Uh, with time, guys, This is these are monthly candlesticks. It doesn't mean it just goes berserk in the short term, and it very well could in the short term. But it's looking very nice. It looks very good. Uh, if I zoom out a little bit, I'm just going to kind of give you guys a perspective. And I don't know if this is right. I'm just showing you guys this. If you tie... One hit, two hit, three hit, four hit, five hit. Five hits on this line. We get a nice good trend line all the way up to who knows what all the way up here. I don't know if we can go that high, but you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't discount it out. I mean, I'm just gonna say it's possible, but you never know. I, I I'm not saying we're gonna go there, but it could be possible. Uh that would be a huge return. And uh we'll see where we go. We'll see where we go. Uh, but this is a, a a expanding wedge, and we just blew out to the downside, and then we just jumped right back inside of it. We are against this resistance line going across. It's a pretty strong resistance line, and that's where we've been getting stuck the past uh, few months. Looking at CDEV, uh, from the big picture perspective, we've broken out of this resistance line here. That's probably more like there. We broke out of that. We came on up into this little wedge. We kind of broke out below it. Strategic Petroleum Reserve releases. There's a bunch of stuff that kind of brought us down lower. And I think we'll eventually work our way on up. Uh, crew Energy, looking really good from a long-term perspective. Very strong uh, coming out. Uh, looking at all of the data here, uh, this thing looks pretty ridiculously awesome. Uh, you can kind of run this guy across, and I think that's the last one of the last lines of defense uh, you can also run you know lines going across when you look to the left here there's probably something in here that we're probably going to have to get through which we're at so we're, we're getting you know getting get some resistance in front of us but if if natural gas continues higher i think that this would uh, do very well a uh, crew uh this is Callum petroleum energy uh, this is the big pattern that I've got that I drew. I just took the, the top levels here, extended it. Maybe we're going to 634 or something like that, but that's a big move uh, to the upside if we were to get up in that uh, vicinity. You could probably put a line through here as well. You know, there's a whole bunch of different areas that you could hit uh, with some resistance lines over there. But that, that guy's looking, you know, pretty good. Uh, Athabasca Oil. We've broken out of this basically uh, resistance line. We're sitting on top of it, and we're just ready to launch uh, here at any point with oil, if and when oil goes. Uh, looking at uh, 
Crescent Point Energy Group. Uh, we got a nice big looking uh, bullish engulfing pattern uh, on the candlestick, monthly candlestick there. It looks really good to move higher uh, right here, right now. Looks really good. Uh, Northern Oil and Gas, another one that's got kind of a shoulder head. Uh, ah, it's not a whole shoulder head, maybe a double bottom that's just declining. Uh, bullish engulfing, looking ready to go higher. Looks really good from that perspective. I can kind of throw that in there as well as a downtrend once we get up there. Uh, GTE up 7.74. Again, we're on the logarithmic monthly candlesticks just moving higher, losing a little bit of steam, but still looks good. Uh, looking at Tellurian as this thing loads. Uh, Tellurian, we've got the the trend line going here that's very strong, many hits. And I think we'll eventually hit that trend line and see if we can break and move higher. Uh, Pedevco, from a big long-term perspective, uh, we are squeezing on up and hopefully we get a nice good break here. Uh, looking at Oasis, uh, you can see a nice big bullish engulfing on a monthly, looking good. Uh, Comstock Resources, Uh, we've consolidated in this point over here. Now we're breaking higher. This thing looks really strong uh, for a continued move higher. And I've got that nice big break and a, the, the potential move higher. Uh, Sandridge is making all-time highs, I think, almost. Or it's real close to all-time highs here. So that's looking fantastic. Uh, we got Ring Energy. That's one that is getting a little bit of resistance right where we're at. Uh, surge energy surging higher. Uh, this thing looks really good. You can see the downtrend line break and just the the breakout move higher. Uh, this was one that I put on the Finding Value website for the Platinum members after this break here uh, when I opened the website showing this. This was one of my favorite companies. Uh, we've got Tamarack Valley Energy breaking to the upside, just moving sideways. Uh, Crescent Energy continues to move higher. Up 3.1%. Not really too much to see. Vermilion Energy breaking its right at uh, support resistance. And then Meg Energy uh, moving higher, breaking this uh, sideways trend line here and, and moving on up. So that looks pretty strong as well. And the trend that I'm seeing is this guy there. Kind of a double slingshot pattern, then boom, rallying higher on a logarithmic perspective. Looking at OIH, uh, OIH looking very strong, bullish engulfing there. I do think this will probably resolve itself higher. Uh, looking at Tetra Technologies, another bullish engulfing on the monthlies, breaking through this very strong resistance line. Uh, that looks fantastic from a shoulder, head, shoulder, inverted head and shoulders, bottoming pattern, and potentially a break uh, of the pattern here that we're about to break as well. Uh, that is one I bought at 50 cents, very lucky of me. Looking at rig uh, from a logarithmic perspective, you can kind of draw the line through maybe this guy here somewhere in that range, and we're still trying to break out of that, almost an inverted head and shoulders type pattern. Looking at Pro Petro Holdings on, on this, almost a shoulder, head, shoulder, and then the breakup, and a little pullback here, but still looking really good. Exterior Energy, another one that's got a long-term uh, trend line break. Yeah, doesn't look as clean, but uh, still coming back. Uh, this would actually be a good time to be looking at it. Uh, Valeris, just moving on higher, uh, looking quite solid. Uh, MMA Offshore, uh, coming on back and breaking out of this little consolidation period, still looking great. Uh, Tidewater just moving higher. This guy's a beast. Look at that beastie moves, man. <laughs> that looks really good. Uh, breaking out of this little downtrend line and just rocketing higher. Uh, next year, oil field Solutions moving on up. This is a bottoming type pattern that you see every once in a while. Uh, KLXE, 
This is a double, kind of a double, triple bottom. Getting a nice big hammer pattern there to potentially move on up. Uh, CHX moving sideways. Uh, WHD just moving sideways, breaking above that support. Uh, looking at nine, nine's got that resistance line going across. Uh, that's what it's trying to break. And we just bounce back down a little bit. And sometimes we'll create a little loop or handle. Uh, OII moving sideways a little bit. There is a downtrend. Let me see here. I don't think that's all the data. Kind of zoomed in there. There's all the data. Nice big run higher last bull market all the way to 2013. Had a nice huge pullback here. And I bet you we'll break and move on up here at any second. Noble Energy. Uh, this guy has continued to move on up. Looks good. Uh, Helix Energy Solutions. Uh, and a big kind of squeezing up falling wedge pattern that will eventually break and move on up to the upside. Just give it time. Uh, CGGYY is looking great. We're getting that double bottom pattern that's formed. Hopefully we can break to the upside. That looks really good. PFC, uh, rounding bottom here. That's looking good. Uh, Diamond Offshore, that one's don't have enough information there. And I'll just go for BTU. Uh, Peabody Energy for a coal company. Uh, we can see that this is kind of an inverted head and shoulders. Uh, that broke to the upside and it's been running higher. Looks pretty good. Uh, but that's what I've got for today, guys. Uh, oil oil looks really good. Same with natural gas. Uh, very strong moves in oil and natural gas today. Obviously, it's very exciting. But just keep in mind, though, um, you know, some of these look for things that are breaking patterns that are just kind of breaking out. And you might see them run. That's what you want to look for. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm not really doing much of anything. I'm just holding on, guys. Just holding on. Uh, some days are good, some days are rough, but uh, I think that oil is, it's oil and natural gas are going to do very good things, I think, over the next couple of years. And then I think oil, uh, after oil and gas really start to run, I think gold and silver will, will follow suit. Uh, the base metals are going to come into problems a couple years out. I think we're going to have a pretty good run for a while. That's what I think, for a while. And I think that the liquidity from the housing market will, will be around for some years. Uh, this stuff just doesn't go away in a snap, you know, a snap of a fingers like that. Uh, it sticks around. It will kind of slosh around all this liquidity and money. Uh, I also think that the demographic could carry us into 2027, 2028, somewhere in that time frame. So we could get the liquidity backing at the same time we run into shortages of commodities. That's the worst inflationary period that you could potentially uh, dream up on top of an energy crisis. <laughs> That's that's a heck of a soup. So I'm still in the super commodity bull camp, uh, and I will be over there for a while. Uh, all of these companies in the energy sector, I think, are great. Uranium, coal, natural gas, uh, oil, energy services, they're all good, guys. They are all incredibly good. And if this commodity bull market, if we're going to solve it with more uh, commodities, well, we got to ship that stuff around. Uh, so I'm sure rail would do well, too. I bet your rail would do well and uh, shipping. They'll probably do very well uh, in terms of moving these products around. And they're also the most efficient way to move things. Um, so that's what I've got for today. Give me a thumbs up for the content. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the website, the Platinum Membership, if you guys want to see the companies I own. Uh, some of them are in here. Some of them are not. And you can see my portfolio and all the holdings I have. All right, guys. Uh, we'll catch you next time. This is Finding Value.